Howdy ho friends, it's Michelle back again with your Wednesday Weekly Wax Meltdown where I go over what I have been melting for the last week. I've been getting through quite a bit, so let's get started. As usual, I will start with Scentsy. I am an independent Scentsy consultant, so if you need a consultant, all my contact and website information is in the description below. Let's first start with what is currently available. First, I have Havana Cabana, and this is a great scent. It's been around for a while. It's pineapple, orange, banana, and berries, and it is beautiful. A perfect blend of all of those. I like this, um, and I will continue to buy this. I don't know if I will put it in my club because the next scent I love even more. It's a newer scent, Pina Colada Cha Cha, Island Coconut, Pineapple, White Rum, and Vanilla Bean. And I would say the Havana Cabana and Pina Colada are fairly similar. Obviously, the Pina Colada Cha Cha leans more towards a Pina Colada type scent, but it does great in my open concept. And I get a little bit of that rum note not like a boozy note, but kind of a warm rum note. Um, and then Havana Cabana is more of a just tropical, non-drink type scent. Those are both good in open concept. Next is Go Go Mango. And it is mango, melon, hibiscus, and banana flower. It's a good body care type scent. And that mango melon and that banana flower I would say is like half of the scent just the banana flower and I think that's what makes this the body care to me not good open concept but does great in an average sized room next is tangerine creamsicle I'm trying to get these to focus Uh, tangerine creamsicle, icy tangerine, mango, and vanilla cream. This is perfect. You really get that zingy brightness from the tangerine. And then a creaminess um, that's not super creamy like a bakery type scent, but almost. Unfortunately, this one's a little lighter than the others, but very good and worth a try. Just keep it in at least a medium to a smaller room. And last, that's currently available, non-licensed type, is Apple Teeny Splash. This is probably my favorite of the new scents in the current catalog. It's green apple, nashi pear, and a splash of simple syrup, but a splash is a little understatement because this is pretty sweet. But I love it. That green apple with that sweetness added to it. And it's a good performer. It's great in open, like, large rooms. Um, let's see if we can get some others that are currently available. Okay, next is Ravenclaw from the Harry Potter collection. And this is kind of like... Well, let me read you the notes first. Smooth vanilla, airy white musk, incense, spice, sandalwood, and mahogany woods. So this definitely has like a leather, like suede note to it. And then an airy type fresh note also with a little bit of smooth vanilla in there. And it, to me, it's very similar to the graduation bar that we had in the Moment by Moment collection, which I've also warmed this week. This though is super, super light and kind of reminds me of like an old book, not in a bad way, but just kind of the smell of an old book. So Ravenclaw to me is a stronger version with like, you can either, you can even smell like if it's a leather bound book that's what this smells like. It's got an airy kind of freshness to it at the same time. 
I love it. This is available with the collection of the full um, four houses wax collection from Hogwarts, Harry Potter Hogwarts wax collection, whatever it's called, <laughs> is available right now. $25 on the Scentsy web, on my Scentsy or your consultant's website. Um, you can also add them individually now to your club. So if you have a club and you only want to try one or two of them, that's the way to get them separately. Next, we've got Relax from the All Is Well collection. This is currently sold out. Um, sorry, this is Vitamin Relax. Bergamot, Vanilla, and Warm Amber. What I get most here is the Warm Amber. If you don't like Bergamot, don't be scared of this the mention of it in this because to me bergamot usually makes it like a masculine cologne not in this there's barely any in there and it is good it's mainly that amber note in that and then three that we have coming out of the chase rainbows collection this will be the collection which is actually five bars i don't have two of them here um i I'm trying to think yellow and blue are the two I don't have here um, but this collection is launching on April 11th so first we've got red which is watermelon cherry and strawberry to me my nose I'm very sensitive to watermelon scent notes and that's what comes out first to me it may be completely different to you if you love watermelon you may get a little bit of it but first and foremost to me is the watermelon, then the cherry, and then the strawberry. And it's a medium scent throw. Next is orange. And this um, orange, if I can get to it, is tangerine, orange, and creamy vanilla. And to me, the creamy vanilla doesn't go with this scent. It's a little odd to me for some reason. I do get orange tangerine and the creaminess, but for me, I don't know. They just kind of don't go together <laughs> for some reason. And then this is my favorite out of this. Well, we'll say my favorite out of the three I'm showing you today. How about that? Green, and it is kind of similar to the Apple Teeny Splash that I showed you just a second ago. This says Granny Smith Apples Cactus Blossom and Serene Kiwi Water. So first and foremost is the green apple the granny smith apple and then i get a little fresh note kind of i think from the kiwi water i do like this one it's a medium throw so keep it probably to like average size or smaller rooms and let's see two more that are currently available I'm trying to get all the ones that are you can buy right now turning red i Love the movie. It's currently on Disney Plus if you have not watched it. It's bright pomegranate, juicy cherry, sugar cane, and vibrant orange. And I get, I think, equal amount of all of that. It is, I love it. <laughs> I have the Scentsy Buddy, um, the Red Panda May, I think is what it's called. Anyway. I have the buddy in my car with, of course, the scent pack from this. I need to buy some extra scent packs. But equal notes, pomegranate and cherry and sugar and orange. It's great. It's bright. It's got that kind of pomegranate tartness. Anyway, next available right now, Cinderella. And Cinderella is a floral scent for sure, no doubt about it. It is Gardenia, Forget-Me-Not, and Frosted Lemon. And for a floral scent, it's great. I love it. It, You know, Gardenia sometimes can punch you in the nose and kick you out the house. This is not like that. It's definitely softened with that lemon, I think. And that Forget-Me-Not is just kind of a gentle floral and I actually mixed it with what we have in the catalog right now, Vanilla Waves. And Vanilla Waves has uh, caramel, vanilla, obviously, whipped vanilla, sorry, sea salt, whipped vanilla, caramel. And it does, this is more of a body care 
vanilla type scent. That caramel brings an extra sweetness to it. And it does have a little bit of that saltiness. I was hoping that I would love this combo as much as I love Cinderella with hazelnut frosting. It wasn't quite as good. I think that sea salt note in Vanilla Waves threw it off just a little bit, but it was still good. If you have both of these, give them a try. You may love it. Um, I wish hazelnut frosting would come back so I could mix that with Cinderella. It was amazing. And I would try like vanilla bean buttercream or even sugar cookie or, you know, something that's currently available. But a lot of those straight vanilla type scents are my, what um, Patricia called Patricia Gates here on YouTube. She says there's nemesis scents where some people just have certain scents they can't smell. And that's what vanilla bean buttercream and sugar cookie are for me. I can hardly get anything from those. <laughs> So yeah, I have to have, I guess, something a little different like that hazelnut frosting or vanilla waves to smell just a vanilla note. Next, I've got the Muppets. And this one, where are you? Um, okay, Muppets. This is melon, cherry berry, Valencia orange and creamy vanilla. I think what I get the most of in here is the melon and the cherry berry. And it reminds me of something. I don't know if it's a medicine or just something I did not like as a kid, but it's a little odd to me. Some people love it. You may love it. Don't take my word for it. Next is Disney's Mulan, not your everyday dragon. And this is sweet papaya nectar, juicy mango, and red ginger flower. And when this first came out, I wasn't super crazy about it. I did get a few bars. This might actually be my last bar. And the ginger in here really comes out, but you get a papaya and mango with a kick of ginger. And ginger can be kind of spicy um, some may consider it a little fall type spice. I don't consider it, at least in this for sure, um, it doesn't lean towards a fall spice to me. Um, but I liked it a lot more this time than I did when I originally, when it originally came out. So I kind of wish I had more, but it's unique. It's definitely a unique scent with that ginger note. So if it comes back, y'all definitely try that one. And it's, I would say a medium scent. At least now. Yeah, I think it was originally as well. Next is Looney Tunes. And this is apple juice, red, ripe red berries, sugared cherry. And I, again, there's something in here. And it might be that cherry that just reminds me of something from way back when that I don't care for. I think it's also the combination of apple juice. It's not like an apple, fresh apple. It's an apple juice. Very distinctly different note in this one. And I didn't care for it. A lot of people love it though. Don't take my word for it. Um, okay. Oh, here's another one that's currently available. Dumbo. Who doesn't love Dumbo? Yeah? This is... Uh, sweet clementine, creamy peach, fresh mango, and vanilla bean. And it's all that. That vanilla bean, I can smell in this. It makes this super creamy. Um, and the combination to me of the clementine, peach, and mango, that part of this scent reminds me of the oodles of orange. If, it, if you just added a creaminess to Oodles of Orange, to me, it would be very similar to this Dumbo scent. Um, if you have Oodles of Orange, give it a try. Add some kind of vanilla bean buttercream or something, you know, creamy vanilla to it. And let me know if it comes out kind of like Dumbo. Anyway, love this scent. It is a cult favorite. Um, it is back in my club. Love it. 
and just a few more Scentsy. Got Southern Evening. This is currently in my quarterly club. It's French Lavender Geranium Fruits and White Musk. It is certainly a unique scent. Definitely. Uh, it came back a couple years ago and bring back my bar and I had regretted not putting it in my club. So I made sure to put it in my club when it came back uh, January. And it's definitely a scent that you've got to be in the mood for. It's almost feminine. It's almost masculine. It's got a little floral, a little musk. It's very dark and deep kind of scent um, from the subtle fruits, I guess. I may end up taking this out of my club, though, if I need to make room for some others that I like even more and I want to warm more. That's the thing with this. You know, I get it once every quarter, but I may only be in the mood for it once or twice a year. So, we'll see. I'll keep it in there for now. This is also in my club, Ambrosia. It is a great Ambrosia scent. Pineapple, mandarin, orange, pear, and Concord grapes with hints of jam and fruit nectar. And man, I love this. Oh, I love this so much. What sets it apart to my nose is that Concord grape. That grape juice note comes out and brightens this up beyond that fruit punch. You know, you get the fruit punch with the mix of everything, but then to me, that grape, Concord grape, is just kind of stands out from it. Also in my club, and you'll see this probably very often, is, why is it not focusing? Lavender Violet. This is basically lavender and marshmallow with the teeny tiny hint of violet. It's beautiful, I love it. I get two every quarter. And I actually had temporarily moved my quarterly club to bi-monthly so I could get some more. And then when we had the Bring Back My Bar in January, I moved it back to quarterly. So I do have a little stock of it now at least. Okay, so that's all on Scentsy. Next, I have one super tart is One Tree Hill. And the note, this is not her usual uh, label. I bought this on her Wax Wednesday, which is a, the one time a year sale that she has. I think she moved it now to October. It used to be around like Black Friday, but I think it's in October now, if I'm not mistaken. Anywho, this is Rain and Mint. I love her rain note. Just hit myself in the face. But I love her rain note and that mint. It's more like a spearmint. It's definitely not peppermint. I don't like peppermint. Um, good. It's good, fresh, and her wax is usually strong, and this is no different. Next, I have Pringle Candle, Country Candle, Sunday Fun Day, and this is Spun sugar, wild berry, cyclamen, cotton candy, apricot, jasmine, agave syrup, amber, and vanilla. And I get all of those scents. All of it. It is like, you know, as a kid, did you ever like combine all these things and like dare each other to taste it? And most of the time it was disgusting. This is great. I love the scent. The downside is it's too weak. I wish it was stronger. And maybe it's just because I love it so much that it's weak to me. You know, usually when you love something, you want it to like punch you in the nose. And this did not. I may try the candle version to see if it's a little stronger. Or I may just get a few more because I love it so much and wax and give it a shot. Maybe let it cure a little bit. I don't know. Oh, I do also have a discount code with Kringle if you are interested in trying anything. Uh, I will leave that and a link in the description below as well. Oh, I don't think I said. Sunday Fun Day and several other scents launched on March 1st. Um, and they're, you know, fairly new. Another one that launched on March 1st is Dragon Fruit Lemonade. 
This is dragon fruit, orange, pineapple, coconut, hibiscus, jasmine, musk, lemonade, and uh, tonka. I would say what I get most in this is dragon fruit, pineapple, and coconut. I do get the other scents. I do get like a little sliver of hibiscus, um, maybe jasmine, and a little bit of musk, but I would say predominantly is the dragon fruit, pineapple, and coconut. Yeah, it's good. I like it, but again, a little too light for me. Um, it only lasted a few hours in an average size bedroom, and then, you know, I mean, I really had to want to smell it to smell it. You know, I didn't just walk in the room and, ooh, smells good after that first few hours. It was kind of like, is it there? Yeah, it's still there a little bit. Okay, next company is Kay's Scented Wax Melts. I tried Blue Fluffy Pillows and Boardwalk Clouds. Boardwalk Clouds is a dupe or, you know, inspired by the Bath and Body Works scent. It is sugared vanilla, marshmallow, meringue, white, magnolia, and fluffy sandalwood. And it's good. Um, it's not very strong to me. I, she has some other scents that I like better. I don't get a ton of magnolia. It's more kind of just a marshmallowy meringue vanilla type scent for me. Won't repurchase that in two weeks. This is Blue Fluffy Pillow. It's a K original blend of blue lavender, palmarosa, and toasty marshmallow, and it's good. I do love lavender scents, though. If you don't love lavender scents, you probably won't like this because that's definitely the majority of it. But it's got that marshmallow to sweeten it up, kind of, eh. I would say similar to this, but this is by far better. Um, I do love this. It has that, um, it says toasty marshmallow. I wouldn't say toasty. It just adds some sweetness to it, really. Anyway, I might would buy that to supplement my need for lavender and marshmallow. <laughs> All right, next is candles. I have three. The first one is fairly small. This is kind of one of the testers that Bath & Body Works would sell in, in their, like, um, oh, semi-annual sale of sweater weather. I think we all probably know what this smells like. It's sage, juniper berry, eucalyptus, and fresh woods. I had these and the other uh, candles in candle crocs. I leave them there at least a week and usually after about four or five days, there's not any scent left in them. Sweater Weather is just a clean, um, slightly woodsy note. Next, I have Midnight Blue Citrus, Bath and Body Works, of course. And it is Juicy Tangerine with Airy Beach Grass, Sweet Orange Blossom, and Amber. And this, you can tell, it's like sunken in, in the middle. It's similar to, let me see if I can get that right, get it right. It's Blue Capri Volcano is the actual candle name. It's a citrusy, bright citrusy kind of scent with a little bit of musk in there. It's good. And if you have not already, subscribe and if you like this content to see more and give me a thumbs up. Let's continue. Strawberry Daiquiri. It is frozen strawberries, sweet, simple syrup, and a shot of tropical rum. I'll let you see the bottom real quick. I got this fairly recently this year for sure. I like the top and I like the, the um, labels that they did on these. These tropical kind of iridescent wraparound labels. Anyway, so this was a super strawberry and sweet. Some of the reviews online said that it was light and that it had a funny smell to them. Not for me, neither one of those. It wasn't light. I would say a good medium. Um, 
and it didn't smell weird to me. It smelled fine. It smelled like it was supposed to, I think. All right, so that's all the scents for the month. I do want to share with you one more thing real quick. Uh, fairly recently, my husband and I started trying to cut out carbs. Not all, but most. And I had in the freezer for months before we decided to cut back on carbs, a Lean Cuisine cauliflower pizza. And I just kept putting it off because I didn't want to try a cauliflower pizza, you know. Anyway, and when we decided that, I was like, okay, let's try it. Who knows? I might love it. And I do. Oh, my gosh. This is good. It's, you know, if you're looking for like a deep crust, it's definitely not that. It, it's pretty flat, but I don't get any cauliflower flavor in it. It tastes like a pizza. Um... I guess thin crust, but you know, so you don't get any really breadiness to it. It was, it's soft when you heat it up, but it's good. It's delicious. Highly recommend trying out this. And there's some other on the Life, um, oops, on the Life Cuisine. I just realized that. Anyway, several others, Lean Cuisine brand, I guess that they're calling Life Cuisine now, that are cauliflower mix instead so i'll let you know as i try those how what i think all right thank you for watching I need to find my button there we go thank you for watching subscribe if you have not already i have weekly uh meltdown that i go through what i've been warming and i usually have something for you on saturdays as well so at least one to two videos maybe even three if i have a haul to come out every week so i need a haircut bad. <laughs> okay, thanks for watching. I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.